Dr. Osmanov is one of the uh, professors of the University of Kiel. For the past 10 years, he worked relentlessly to make his field better than before. It's a new office. Those are represent, representing a uh, uh, house made of house, and now he has. So we are here in Kiel, um, uh, and uh, the subject I want to talk today is about why you are doing the you know cadaver lab yeah. the way you are doing now how long has it been so uh, first of all thank you very much for coming actually Kiel is the end of the world <laughs> and I want just short to tell you a very funny story Dr. Wilson um, asked me where is the Kiel it's it's uh, the middle of nowhere but now after 10 years and so many years we are doing these labs we are in the center of prosthetic urology mm. doing a cadaver labs. The mm. reason for that, I think um, the surgeons learning anatomy only in the medical school. And um, well, they have knowledge, it's basic knowledge in anatomy, but it's, it's basic for the surgeon to know uh, anatomy. And uh, this is unique opportunity in our lab to learn the anatomy in association with prosthetic urology because we prepare the specimens which describe the uh, anatom anatomical landmarks for the implantation or uh, which can help us to understand the mechanism of damaging or mechanisms of injury or complications. So, and I think it's very important for both young urologists who are on the way to start their own practice, even for experienced one, because I always learn something new, um, even doing the same things each year uh, during these courses, I always learn something from uh, our senior mentor, Professor Wilson. Dr. Wilson made, made more than 15,000, maybe 20,000 implants in his life, and because as we discussed today during the surgery, there are very small things, how to put the stitch, but it's so important because the rules in the surgery are written with blood. and. And that is why I think it's very important for all doctors uh, to go back to the roots, to learn anatomy, and it will be really helpful in the daily clinical practice. I heard that there's a, your uh, cadaver lab every year. The cadaver is prepared as something different. Yes, so we have, there are a lot of possibilities in the modern anatomy, how to preserve the corporal uh, tissue and bodies. Or we call it not cadaver, we call it body donor. Why? Body because donor. the people donated their own ah, body understood. in a volunteer way mm. uh, to make, uh, to help us uh, medical doctors to learn anatomy and mm. students. So it's a donation program mm. in Germany and it's a, a great privilege. As I said, there are um, a traditional way to fixate this body using formalin or formaldehyde and using this secret uh, fixation, fixation of the bodies, which is uh, invented in Kiel mm. by Professor Wedel, mm -hmm. we don't have any smell. And during the surgery on these cadavers, excuse me, body donors, you feel like being or operating on, on, on the real patient. So oh. it's, it's um, very similar to the real condition in the OR. Why do you think this is important for well, the surgeons and the, for mm. the trainees? Were you able to see the differences after the courses, or yes. were there any responses or remarks yes. from the peop uh, uh, surgeons who trained? Well, because if you're in a routine situation in your hospital and you want to start penile implant surgery and uh, maybe did five cases in your life and thinking to do more, you would have problems uh, to identify, to, to make the anatomy of the penis or of the um, surgical site clear for you. And it really helps to come back to the anatomic uh, basics, to the roots, to understand the anatomy, the normal anatomy of a human in that area uh, to make the surgery. And an um, important factor, I think, which I wanted to tell you, the speciality of the keel is we have uh, the chair of the anatomy, the di director of the anatomical institute, Professor Wedel. He was a surgeon, so mm -hmm. he see the anatomy with the eyes of the surgeon mm -hmm. and uh, he knows what is important he knows what complications are and he has so much passion and he loves what he is doing 
that is another factor which is important because if you have everything but don't want to do it and do it is because you have to do it it will not work and he is very patient surgeon and anatomist and uh, this combination makes kill different in this laboratory spatial it looks like you know it has been a long way right because i saw different from the other anatomical you know uh, body donor you know studies or body donor settings you and uh, dr weddell had to create something out of nothing or you have to create something new which is a different thing and usually when you try to do that there comes a lot of difficulties was it yeah, right it was not easy to organize these courses uh, first because of uh, finance very academic mm -hmm. and we didn't have no budget for that mm -hmm. reason and what we did i asked him he didn't want to do it actually in the beginning and i asked me please let me do some uh, preparations because I want to know, learn penile anatomy better. Oh. I'm a surgeon, and that's, I think, what could help me ah. to catch his heart, because he said, ah, oh, really, you want to learn? Mm. Then, you know, I can give you a key, and you have only possibility to, to work in the evening. I said, perfect, I will mm. do it in the night. In some uh, years, I was working even on, on uh, Eastern holidays. I was amazed from the quality of bodies. It was, for me, like uh, uh, visiting... Uh, a rock star uh, concert. Oh, and then we develop um, the strategy, well, I developed actually the strategy to win Dr. Vettel, Professor Vettel, and, uh, and he was agree after that with me that it could be interesting for, not only for me as an implanter, but other implanters and doctors to learn more about penile anatomy. So, and we created the first course, which was together with life surgery, so we did one day life surgery and a second day anatomy. And then uh, our students or participants ask us to spend more time for hands-on and less life surgery because you can uh, watch the videos on VGPU and other um, possibilities to, to watch the life surgery. And we spend more time with anatomy. So that, that is the reason why we have two days anatomy but, instead of one. But why? <coughs> And then why yeah. Yeah. did you want to share? It's a, you worked that hard, right? You worked, you had to work with, you know, fixing the, you know, body donors and the Easter's and uh, some holidays while they don't, while the others don't. But even so, you decide to share it with the others, why? You know, Sean, the, the question, my wife asking me all, all the time, why are you doing that? <laughs> Actually, I, I don't know why. I mean, I love to do that. Uh, and. I, I can't answer this question, but uh, on the other hand, um, that's what makes me happy. And if this can help, help our patients and our doctors to make the surgery less dangerous for the patient, well, maybe this is the reason. Is it um, reasonable to understand or what I'm doing? I, I'm not, I am not sure, but I love to do it. Do you think that you learn something while you do the training? While I'm doing the training? Yeah, like uh, cadaver courses, and now you have a fellow as well. Yeah, having a fellow is a good thing. Sometimes it's not always a good thing, right? You mm -hmm. have to train them. You have to spend more time in the OR. But even so, many good surgeons were doing it. Uh, personally, I believe they are doing it not just for the for the trainee, but for themselves as well. In terms yeah. of the surgical skills, or you can learn something from. I was able to learn something from a trainee every time. Was it same to you? Yes, uh, I learned, of course, I learned something new during each case. So mm. after each case, mm -hmm. I knew a little bit more mm. about the human, about the anatomy. And of course, if you have trainee or fellow from the other medical school or other style, um, or surgical style, it is interesting because I'm traveling around the world in many countries and it is different to see how they work, how the organization, and uh, different ways of uh, disinfection and uh, how to prepare the instruments. Now, all these things are very important for me because I can maybe see their mistakes, maybe to understand something which is working not good in the hospital, in uh, my own hospital, to improve it. And I think I learned a lot of uh, things from the trainees.